The pulse wave Doppler tracing of the umbilical artery has some unique and specific characteristics. When looking at a pulse wave Doppler spectrum, the vertical axis or y-axis is always representing velocity in centimeters per second, sometimes millimeters per second, and the horizontal x-axis represents time, always in seconds. One complete cardiac cycle contains two components, diastole, which is relaxation, and filling, and systole, the contraction of the heart. Any flow that is above the baseline is forward flow, and retrograde or reverse flow will be represented and displayed below the baseline. Peak systole and end diastole are important points of the pulse wave spectrum when performing resistive index measurements. Various arteries throughout the body can have very different pulse wave Doppler tracings. Here are a few normal waveforms from different arteries. The umbilical artery has its own characteristic trace. This is a representative of a normal pulse wave tracing of an umbilical artery in the cord of a fetus. The blood flow is seen to be all anti-grade, above the baseline. There is no retrograde or reverse flow seen in a normal umbilical artery. The diastolic velocity is well above the baseline and represents approximately half of the peak systolic flow in a normal umbilical artery Doppler waveform.